Hello everyone. This is my second video of Mac Mini 2018 model. The first video that I did was of Mac Mini unboxing and its features. This machine can support 4K and HDR. So what we're going to be doing is uh, we're going to review this monitor that I purchased called BenQ EW3270U, which is a 4K HDR monitor and connected right now to the Mac Mini via the USB-C cable that comes along with the monitor directly hooked to the Mac Mini. This is a very good monitor. So far I'm very happy with it and you can buy it on Amazon for around 35,000 rupees as you can see. And uh, another good thing which I'd like to mention here is that uh, the new generation of Mac Mini uh, that were released this year they have increased the storage on the same configuration for the same price so if you go to Amazon right now you'll find uh, the i3 processor version now comes with standard 256 GB which was earlier just 128 GB and this is the cheapest way you can get a Apple desktop in India so coming back to our monitor what we're gonna be uh, using is as I said BenQ EW3270U you see this covers 95% of DCI-P3 color gamut and one of the most exciting thing that really matters uh, these days is that this supports actually color bit at 10 bit which makes it a total colors of 1.07 billion colors so nowadays all the new smartphones are capable of making such videos which show these extra colors and benefit from them plus even a lot of YouTube content comes with it and one of the most special things that I like about this monitor is the eye care support you get with it you see this is a absolutely flicker free monitor and uh, as well as it has low blue light option it has brightness intelligence in it uh, this is a basically a special sensor right below the monitor screen which senses the ambient light and corrects the color temperature as you can see here as well as the brightness very easily and uh, reduces your eye strain even after hours of usage plus it's a low blue light monitor so yeah it's quite a good machine here you can see that officially support 30 bit colors on Mac and right now it's at 60 Hertz which is like 60 frames per second maybe not good enough for your advanced gaming but for everyday usage and new age videos and YouTube 60 FPS is good enough and this is on default display right now so maybe we'll go ahead and play one or two videos now Apple had released an update uh, in March I think of uh, OS Catalina in which they provided the support for third-party HDR monitors so if your monitor is actually HDR capable then in the display settings you will get this option called high dynamic range and uh, since the OS by default doesn't have an interface which is in high dynamic range right now HDR as it is commonly known only when you're playing Apple TV content or videos taken from your smartphones or gathered from somewhere else then it's better to turn this option on moderator flickers for a moment and then gets into HDI mode so I'll go ahead and play an HDR sample for you here you see all these bright colors high saturation and high contrast that is what mostly you get when you play an HDR video which makes the clarity a little like popping out from your screen and makes things a lot more fun to watch nowadays Vimeo and YouTube they're all filled with it though not officially supported on Mac even now but a lot of movies and contents you can see nowadays in HDR now I'm gonna play another video this is in 2k format but again an HDR video as you can see whether you play a 4k file or a 2k file doesn't matter this Mac mini is absolutely capable of playing all these files in their highest quality and white color gamut as you can see
I guess that's enough of a sample and proof that yes, it is very well capable of playing HDR. For those who understand these technicalities, BT2020PQ is usually a color profile that is associated only with HDR videos as well as this 9169 is a code for HDR videos. So yeah, this machine is absolutely capable of handling and playing 4K HDR videos. Now I'll turn off HDR and show you that not necessary that you have to enjoy all contents with HDR only. Even the 10-bit display provides such beautiful colors when you're playing simple shots taken from your new new gen smartphones. Here, a sample in again 4K but this time not HDR in 10-bit colors. You see everything is so vivid and so clear on the screen. It's a beautiful lush display. So the so second important aspect here is that a lot of people coming from iMacs or MacBook Pros or MacBook Airs think that uh, external display would not be as crisp or clear and because this will not be a retina display which everything that you see is combined together and shown with four pixels together coming together to show you a single pixel which makes everything's very sharp and clear so what happens is that uh, for a 32 inch screen I personally feel native 4k display is just the right resolution anything smaller like 27 or 28 inch then a 4k everything would be too small to view to do anything but still if you are used to the retina display you can always go into your system preferences of display and see by default if you keep this in default then that was the option you have but if you go for the scaled one then avoid going for the middle three options here because uh, something called non-integer scaling is not something mac os handles really well it's best if it is on uh, even numbers like here it says it looks like 1920 by 1080 which is just half of the native resolution this machine provides that is 3840 by 2160 so we'll go ahead and uh, shift it to this display so that we get retina on this one Now, it's, this is totally up to a personal preference that you want to keep it native or you want to keep it on this uh, 1x scaling which Mac Mini handles really well and very comfortably. My monitor resolution is still 4K but the UI looks like 1920 by 1080 which converts to actually what Retina is. But you can adjust the icon size, the display size, the text size, the dock size as per your preference and go ahead and make this machine into uh, a retina look if that's what your choice is, if that's what you prefer. You'll have to reduce the default website display sizes to adjust as per your needs but the machine functions just fine. I'll even play a video again. This is a 4K video playing while you are into a retina mode of full HD. So there is no stuttering here, no issues while handling a retina mode. Here, watch the sample. Okay, I'd like to mention something here. This backlight that you see over here in this video is uh, only visible while I'm making this video and looking at the screen through my smartphone. Otherwise, from naked eye, not, none of this is visible. So do not worry of having any such issues.
I guess this covers everything I wanted to share in this video that how the Mac mini 2018 model is capable of playing 4k as well as HDR and this third party monitor that I have here you can always shift it to the retina mode to get the extra crisp display if you want and or keep it at native 4k absolutely up to you individual choice all right thanks a lot for watching bye bye